Hi everybody, I'm Spike Brave, and in this video I'd like to give you a reconnaissance report, reconnaissance report on the Boreal Vault map in MechWarrior Online. In this video I'll be talking about one of the Community Warfare maps, the Boreal Vault. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the point, points of interest, some of the names players call things if you're not familiar with those. And of course we'll talk a little bit about the objectives because they're a little bit different when you're playing in Community Warfare. So let's start talking about the points of interest in this map and if you're on if you're the defender in community warfare i'll show you where your spawn points are um i'm on top of one right now so we're in g7 and one of the spawn points is here and then we'll come over here to g6 and there's a spawn point and that is right about here uh, actually up a little bit it is right here and then we'll run clear to the other side and we'll show the other one. Now these spawn points are important because if you're the attacker and uh, enemies spawn in and the dropships come, the dropships will shoot at you and they hurt. They have lots of large and medium lasers on them. So be aware of that when you're uh, attacking the cannon. That uh, And here's the other one. You can see where the ground is blasted black from the jump jets. Jet, jets. So uh, these are the areas where the uh, lances will spawn. Keep an eye on those as people spawn in. If you are not the defender on this map, if you're the attacker, those dropships will come in and they will shoot at you and that causes lots of damage. So keep an eye out for those dropships. Okay, so let's talk about some of the objectives and a very important point of interest. If you are defending, you are defending this orbital cannon. What the attacker has to do is shoot this generator in the back here and I'll take a shot at it to show, to show you where it's at. So in this, this general area here, we'll paint it again. That's where you want to be shooting to take out the uh, orbital cannons generator. Now, if you're on attack and you destroy this generator, you win the match automatically. Match is over once this generator on this cannon goes down. It's called Omega on your map. It'll be marked as Omega. And if you are on uh, defense and counterattack mode, you'll have a mobile HQ right here. And it looks like a little truck. That's where the difference lies in your different modes if you're on defending and counterattack. If they destroy the mobile HQ, the match isn't over yet. They have to destroy all the enemy mechs too. So uh, keep that in mind if you're playing uh, the uh, counterattack mode. Destroying Omega doesn't automatically win you the match. So that's the difference between those two modes is the mobile HQ is important and you do need to destroy it to win if you're the attacker, but you also have to destroy all the enemy mechs. Or destroy more of them than they destroy of you in the case of a timeout. And that's also the case in the, uh, or not also the case, not also the case in the uh, mode if you're attacking the orbital cannon, if the defender stops you from destroying it for 30 minutes, regardless of how many of their mechs you've destroyed, they still win. So those modes are a little bit different on the objective, and it becomes more or less important depending on the mode there. So that's important for the matches to know where those two uh, objectives are. And then if we look here and let me check my map real quick. Here we'll, we'll see that there are turrets, so be mindful of those if you're attacking. There's also a turret in the corner here. Just keep an eye on him. That will be right here. And then let's talk about something else that's really important. I mentioned those generators you have to take down to bring down the shield. That's over here in F8, and it's right behind this little outcropping here. So there's this generator, so you have to blow him up. And let's go take a look at another generator that's really close by. Close by. Let me orient myself here. So he's up here. Behind these buildings, find that generator. Oh, sorry, I got turned around. I uh, made myself a map, and as you can see here, I'm slightly confused by my own map. Alrighty. Jump over this. There we go. There's another generator. So here's another objective for you to take out if you're on attack. If you're on defense, make sure you try to protect that. And we'll go look at the third one.
there are dummy mechs out here for you to shoot. And there is an awesome. Now let me see where that other generator is hiding. Please around here somewhere. Little bit harder to find the generators when you're in this particular mode because they're not clearly marked. There he is. There's your other generator right here. When you are uh, actually playing a live match, you'll get a little uh, star with a circle around it that will uh, tell you where your objectives are. So it's a little bit easier to see them there. And since we're over here, we'll take a look. And in right here, you'll find another uh, laser emplacement. So keep an eye out for that. And then another thing that's really important is in the middle of this area. We'll head towards E6 here. If you're pushing down the center here, right about here, just a little further up, right in this general area, there'll be a turret. So keep an eye out for that turret. And then we'll go all the way across here to the other side of E6. And right here in this canyon, Right here where this curves, we'll find another gun emplacement, so keep an eye on that. And this is probably one of the places we do want to talk about. In the uh, pug matches I played in Community Warfare, a lot of teams would push in and then come here and then fight in this area. Now, it does provide good cover, so uh, a lot of people would sit here and then hope the uh, defenders would come over and attack them and then wear them down and then push into the base. That was successful sometimes, sometimes it's not. Um, I don't particularly like that tactic uh, because you're kind of in a hole here and if the other team is uh, organized and figures out what you're doing, they've got a nice firing lineup here. I, I just don't think it's a great tactic, but it does work sometimes. Uh, ideally, what you want to do is use this for cover and then we'll push around here and we'll see that this leads up into the base. Now, if you get a good, strong push and you just keep moving and push into the base, you can get out of that generator I showed you and... Uh, begin attacking generators. So I do recommend that. Push real hard and get up in here. So, but this area is important. They do call it the canyon or sometimes the trench. So uh, that's important. And then what we'll talk about is another really important feature of community warfare is the gates. Now, if you're the defender, you can uh, sit behind the gates and wait for the attacker to come in and you'll know where his first push is because he'll have to take out these gates. So we'll come up here to the first gate. And uh, these are very obvious. So you can see there's the walls for the gate. And uh, in a community warfare match, when you encounter this for the first time, there'll be a closed door across this. Now, if you're the attacker, you have to get it open. And how you get it open is you shoot this generator. Now, something that's really important is on either wall, you'll find a, a turret. Now, you can destroy those turrets. Or if you can find a good spot to hide, what I'll do is I'll come up here and show you where to get at that generator. If you can find a spot where the turrets aren't hitting you, if you shoot out the generator, and as you can see from here, I could uh, shoot over the top of the wall and hit the generator. So that would be your goal is to take out this generator. If you take out the generator without destroying the turrets, the turrets turn off. Um, that can be really uh, useful to be aware of that. If you have an ammo-dependent mech and you don't want to waste your ammo, just take out the uh, generator. But uh, in this mode... What's different than uh, your standard solo queue is that the uh, turrets don't have medium lasers in them. They have large lasers. So uh, two large lasers shooting at you, or in this case, technically four, because you have two turrets, is quite dangerous. So uh, weigh those options is what you want to do. In this map, it's very hard to get at that generator without being in view of the turrets. In some maps, it's not. So keep that in mind that uh, if you do take out that uh, generator, it will knock out just those turrets on the wall. And then let's take a look at the other side here. And you'll see the same kind of setup. So we'll come over. And as you can see, there's another wall. Again, a turret on either side of the wall will be shooting at you. And if we come up top here, it's probably the best spot to shoot at their generator. As you can see, there's the generator we want to take out. And again, this generator will take out these two turrets, but only these two turrets. So uh, 
All the other turrets will remain live. It's just the turrets that are attached to the walls that'll turn off. And speaking of turrets, let's get down in here and take a look. Right when you open this door, we will have a turret right here. Just keep an eye out for him. And this is a, another similar turret will be on the other one. I didn't show you that when I was over there, so let's take a look. And if you're facing in, it'll be on your left, and in this case, it'll be on my right. But right here is another turret. So those turrets are dangerous as you come in, so keep those in mind. And then we'll show you the other side here. There is another canyon. People, if they're calling out the canyon, they're on the other side generally. But this is another good spot to come in here, and then you push right. And it's somewhat similar. It's not quite as protected as the other side. It's not quite as much as a, a bowl with a sheer side as the other side is. As you can see, it's it's quite a bit more open. But you can push into here and get at the other generator. And a lot of the organized teams that you you may play against if you're playing Community Warfare, you will uh, see them push one side, take out the generator, push this side, and then take out the other generator. So look out for those tactics. And then what we'll do is we'll talk about the other side of the map. And we'll run out there. And this is where you'll spawn if you're on attack. Once you get out into this area, you won't see a lot of uh, action on the map until uh, end game. If the uh, defenders are winning, a lot of times they'll push out and spawn camp. So uh, keep that in mind. So let's come out here. And we'll take a look at those uh, other spawns. It'll take me just one moment to get there. But as I said, if you're playing Community Warfare, you won't see this portion of the map very much. Unless you're an attacker and you're running through it just to get over to the base. Or things have gone completely south and the attackers are pushed back to their spawn and are being camped. So we'll get the first drop point is right over here in Z2 and it's right about here and then we'll go to the next one and it is right about here you can see where they've shown the blackening of the earth from the dropships jets and the other one's right over here so if you are on defense and you decide to go out and attack the uh, attackers as they spawn this is where you want to be but Again, be aware that those dropships will come in and shoot at you. So that's been a look at the points of interest really on this map. And let's talk about one thing that I see a lot of players doing that you need to be aware of. So as you come in, and it doesn't really matter which side you come in from, there's that large plateau in the center of the defensive area. What you'll see is a lot of players get up on that plateau and start blasting with large lasers. Specifically ER large lasers because they have such good range. So you'll come up here and try to poke at the generators here. And then if we can look out there, you can see kind of where that cicada is and all through that area. You'll have mechs with ER large lasers standing there trying to blast you as you're trying to uh, take out those turrets. So uh, be aware of that and be mindful of that if you're uh, attacking that you'll have defenders out there with large lasers if they've played community warfare more than a few times that seems to be a very common trick so uh, let's look at it from the defender side so again if you're on defense you know and you have some large lasers you come out here and stand here and as you can see you can look at right out there into get a good look at anybody who's standing up on those hills and the really particular favorite spot is this other side. What I saw a lot of when I was playing in the uh, most recent Community Warfare event is stalkers with the ER large laser standing right here. As you can see, I can see that uh, hill I was standing on to shoot at the turret really good right there. And you can see this one that I was standing on to shoot at the other turret really good. So they'll get up here with the uh, ER large lasers and just spray you down as you're trying to shoot out those turrets. So keep that in mind. Um, I would recommend bringing artillery strike with you. It's good for a hit on those uh, mechs that are doing that because a lot of times what they'll do is they'll stand right here and then they'll zoom in and they won't see the smoke 
in this situation if you put it right just right behind him so if you, you drop smoke on me right here i'm all zoomed in spraying at you i'm going to take an artillery hit so uh keep that in mind that uh, artillery is a good way to break that up because no one likes to stand in artillery And very rarely you'll see a push through the center here. We'll tip, run around in here a bit to show you where that is. Don't see that very often because you'll get, you're really, really bad trapped in here. You can get enemies on either side standing up. If you're in the canyon over there, at least it's just the one side. But that's been a look at this map. I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you have, uh, please throw me a like to let me know that uh, these videos are helpful to you. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, as always, if you have questions or you notice something I missed, please leave me a note in the comments. I'll either redo the video or answer your question. Or if it's a, a particularly good question that deserves a, its own video, I'll go ahead and make you one there. But this has been a look at the uh, Boreal Vault map. As always, have great luck on the battlefield, and I hope to see you there. Thanks a lot.